If I ever videoed you and you lost a finger in it, I'd be pretty ticked. <laughs> we just wanted to take a minute to thank everybody for uh, watching us, especially those of you that came over from Fab Rats. Um, quick introduction, I'm Chad, of course. You've seen my ugly mud plenty. Um, this is my lovely bride of almost 25 years, Stacy. Over 25 years, try it again. <laughs> We're going into 26, but he's close enough, I guess, if you, uh, you said almost 25 oh, years. Oh, <laughs> I meant to say over 25 years. Anyway. Yeah, my brain turns <laughs> off when the camera looks at me. <laughs> And then this is our oldest son, Kian. So. He's our best fabrication so far. Yep. <laughs> so he does... <laughs> Kian has uh, done most of the editing and most of the videoing. Um, Stacy's going to move into that role uh, some too. So um, we run a, uh, a uh, normal day-to-day -day repair shop here at home. So the three of us work together. We work together. 12 hours a day or more sometimes. So, uh, far more than any family should spend that much time together. <laughs> Especially husband and wife. So, yeah. it's amazing she hasn't killed me in my sleep. So, uh, but yeah, we do day to day repairs here. Um, so, the we don't do any videos of that. That's kind of stupid and lame. So, but we do video some of our funner projects, um, mostly our personal stuff. But we have quite a few friends and Jeep and buddies that bring stuff in to us. So, we'll we uh, try and get videos of some of those fun projects and keep it interesting. So, but uh, feel free to comment. Um, let us know what you like, what you don't like, and what you want us to do. And and uh, you know we we read all of those comments. So we'll be willing to uh, make as many adjustments we can up to, but not including plastic surgery. I think so. <laughs> all right, it's Friday night. Now we're going to start on the funnish stuff. Uh, fun ish being a word. <laughs> it's, still, it's still a Jeep, so I mean, how much fun can it be? Uh, on this one, this is a uh, uh, scrambler of Travis's. This is one that I helped him build several years ago. Uh, today's project is this little problem right there. He's got about a half inch before the bump stops come into contact. And we had to do that because the tie rod is like an inch and a half away from the pitman arm. But it rides stiff because of the bump stop, but he otherwise likes it. So we're going to uh, rearrange some stuff. We're going to turn the tie rod end over. That's really the only option. Put it, have it come in through the bottom of the knuckles, and then I can change the shock mounts and um, put um, external reservoir shocks on it so that I had ordered and valved for it so we'll show that here a little bit later so but for now I'm just gonna get after it times in the shop. Yeah, <laughs> over here grinding this rusty stuff, so putting my trusty mask on so I don't die. <laughs> uh, I'll die sooner than later. Okay, got the uh, this bracket built for this, so it will mount about like that. For what? For this shock. Wherever it went. Nice. Yep. So I'm uh, just going to build a piece, put it on the bottom, cap the bottom of it up, and uh, weld it on. 
Presto whammo, we got a shock mount, so. And then you gotta make one for the other side? Then I gotta, well, I gotta build the top shock mount after I get the bottom fixed, so. And then, when I get it all done, I get to do it times two, so. <laughs> Hopefully I can make them both match. Oh, you didn't make a template? I made a template for that. Okay. But, you know. Right. Piece of cardboard can only go so far. <laughs> shock bracket built uh, last night and I just got it tacked on so now we're going to uh, test fit this shock okay got the uh, shock in now that it's held uh, where it's going to be you can see that I need to uh, make some changes to the uh, shock tower there so I'll add I think I'm going to mount it so both of the mounting points are, are in line so I'll cut, cut that off, uh, build a bracket here, and then a piece over the top to uh, support it so it's in the shear. So that's the next project. afraid it's going to do? Hit the frame? Well, I put it too close to the frame to where we don't, we don't have full suspension travel, so I'm going to check it here. Three, three inches. Two, two and three quarter, which is exactly what we got. Do we want to try to push, do you want to grab a jack and see if we can lift one in? Get lift this in, see if it's going to end? I think we'll be okay. You think you're good? Yeah. I mean, it's so clear, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it'll... Worse comes to worse. Uh, it'll yeah. kind of make a nice little bend in it, so... In the frame? <laughs> no, not the frame. In the, in the, it'll in the be a custom piece. piece. Yeah. yeah. If, it, if, it, if it hits, it'll be custom. Then my alignment will be off. Yeah. If it's off of you. If that's your worry, then it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, then I might wear tires unevenly. 
<laughs> 12 miles. Uh huh. All the road miles. You well, he said I gotta drive it more. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. That way it doesn't leak oil. Well, it'll keep your tires from rotting off the wheels too. Oh. Like your last set. Hey, that was because it was out here for five and a half years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As opposed to sitting in your garage for five hey, years. Hey, now it's got a body to cover the tires. Before it oh. didn't have the body to cover the tires. Right. So, right. you know. I, I'm starting to see the difference. Here. Yeah, so that's the difference. Keep talking. Keep talking. And I might, I might fully and embrace she's, she's got a nice garage that covers her and stuff, so. Good? The rally time? Maybe. <laughs> Waiting for winter jam. <sighs> Trying to be conscientious of anything that might come by your heart. Yeah. Well, yeah, bodily harm after causing issues with date nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a multi step process, really. <laughs> Lower it all the way down and make sure full free steers or what? Yeah, I'm just going to go grab it real quick and see. Probably have to send it the drive line or send it the steering wheel. So it's looking at the drive line. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us late in the day. You can look in there. Okay, got, uh, got this one uh, wrapped up pretty much. Um, I ended up. Uh, doing a uh, shorter pivot arm with a little bit of a drop to it to get this uh, drag link uh, level after straightening out this steering arm. Um, had to re-drill, you see I cut the end of it off, re-drilled it to, uh, so that both of these lengths match, the steering arm length needs to match the pitman arm length. Um, got that handled and then just a quick recap. We got the uh, tie rod end turned over so we could have clearance between it and the pitman arm. And when we did that, we had to remount the uh, steering shock. And, uh, and then we got the shocks mounted. So uh, should all be good to go. We'll get it buttoned up and uh, take it for a test drive. But Travis will be here in a couple hours to pick it up and so we can head to uh, Winter Jam. San Paulo later this week. So.